at the start of part 4, Darlene, who is on a balcony with a man in a suit. He appears to be Darlene's hookup, with whom she is discussing class redefinition and wealth redistribution in society. Darlene requires protection because she is about to meet with White Rose, the unknown leader of the Dark Army and the world's most dangerous hacker. As a result, as soon as her hookup leaves, she searches for his gun. Shortly after, she discovers a password protected safe. She notices his graduation certificate and realizes that the password is the date he graduated. She then opens the safe, retrieves the pistol, and boards the subway. On the subway, Darlene is approached by two ominous dark army lackeys, who instruct her to follow the proper commands and only then the sequence will initiate. On the other hand, Elliot appears to be concerned for Krista because he believes he has hurt her. In order to alleviate his guilt, he deletes all of her data from his computer. Meanwhile, in the F Society, Elliot claims that he has been studying Steel Mountain's temperature control contractor and monitoring the Raspberry Pi chip he planted to control the temperature facility there. The chip is still online, and F Society's scheme is still very much active, assuming that the meeting with White Rose goes well. A few moments later, Darlene arrives and has a private conversation with Elliot. She hands him the gun, claiming that the Dark Armies are following her, and probably him too. She is skeptical that the White Rose meet will go well, so she warns him to be cautious. However, Elliot doesn't know how to use the gun, so she hides it under popcorn. At Evil Corp, Tyrell appears to be mentally disturbed. While he is quietly imploding, Gideon pays him a visit. He informs Tyrell that Colby's case will most likely be dropped because Angela broke the chain of custody, but he has personally secured the networks and installed a honeypot on one of the servers, CS30, to catch the hackers. Gideon also discusses his plan to fool F Society into thinking they are hacking the main server, but the data will be useless, leaving the group vulnerable to intrusion. Despite the fact that Gideon is an evil corp contractor, Tyrell is alarmed, which fuels the theory of his connection to F Society. He is curious as to why Gideon thought of installing a honeypot, so he conducts his own investigation, attempting access that is granted in snippets. The next day at All Safe, Ollie pulls rank and orders Elliot to deliver some damaged files to a disk repair shop. Elliot realizes something is wrong, so he hacks Ollie's email and discovers that someone is blackmailing both him and Angela. Following this, he goes to Angela, who tells him everything. Hearing this, Elliot realizes that the Dark Army needed an excuse to get him to one of their safe facilities, and Ollie was a dupe. Angela is also upset with Elliot as he hasn't been the same in recent months. Afterwards, Elliot enters a Faraday room, which is designed to block Wi-Fi, radio transmissions, and signals and finally meets White Rose. White Rose is obsessed with time and Elliot is given three minutes to explain why the hacking collective should still merge with F Society for the Steel Mountain plan. During the conversation, it becomes clear that the malware infected CD Angela unleashed on Allsafe's network wasn't part of F Society's plan. The Dark Army was conducting due diligence, looking into whether Phase 1 of F Society's hack raised any lingering and potentially disastrous red flags, which led to the discovery of the honeypot. White Rose also claims that unless Elliot removes the honeypot, she and the Dark Army won't proceed. She provides Elliot with the time of 50 hours and 23 minutes to remove it. Following this, Elliot returns to All Safe and calls Darlene, instructing her to distract All Safe staff with a F Society video. Until then, Elliot gains access to Gideon's account by circumventing the two-step authentication process and removes the honeypot. In the next scene, it is revealed that Mr. Robot and Tyrell know each other and are aligned with F Society plans. Tyrell demands Mr. Robot's full game, threatening him that he knows damaging information about Mr. Robot that he could reveal at any time. However, Mr. Robot appears unaffected and claims that it won't help anyone, so it's best to remain silent. Later that night, the detectives arrive at Tyrell's place to investigate Sharon's death. Hearing this, Joanna realizes Tyrell murdered Sharon, which shocks him. However, she decides not to let the detectives take her husband away. So, before they begin their investigation, pregnant Joanna pretends to have a water break and that they need to rush to the hospital. Elsewhere, Elliot meets with Darlene and informs her that the Steel Mountain plan will go off in less than two days, making her overjoyed. Darlene then credits him for everything, and expresses her admiration for him. She also states that he's the best person and that she adores him. Elliot leans in to kiss Darlene, but she recoils angrily, rebuking him. She inquires if he has forgotten who she is. At that moment, he suddenly realizes that Darlene is none other than his sister. Elliot appears to have no memories of the past due to his excessive drug use. After this, Elliot returns home and discovers an unlabeled CD containing several pictures of Mr. Robot, both alone and with himself. Finally, he realizes that Mr. Robot is actually his father. He also recalls the year 1994, when the technological revolution was 
just getting started in the South New Jersey town. His father, Mr. Robot, had opened the first computer store in the area, promising computer repair with a smile and displaying the most advanced products of the time. One day, a man came into the store and accused Elliot of stealing $20. He demanded his money with an apology, but Mr. Robot attempted to reason with the man. As a result, the man left, claiming that he's a terrible father who is teaching his son to steal. As soon as the man left, Elliot came out with the money and asked why he wasn't mad. Mr. Robot responded that, despite the fact that Elliot stole, he is still a good kid. But the man was a prick, and sometimes that matters more. Back in the present, Mr. Robot pays Elliot a visit, compliments the apartment's cleanliness, and expresses concern about Elliot's mental state. Seeing him, Elliot is left in shock and eventually remembers all of his past that he tried to hide from himself by hacking his own background and burying it among the CDs of all his other hacks. He is clearly distraught by the prospect that his father, whom he thought had died 20 years ago, is still alive. Elliot yells, flips over his kitchen table, and repeatedly asks his father what's going on. Mr. Robot claims that the people who are spying on them don't want them to collaborate, so they've been manipulating Elliot and making him forget what they want him to forget. Furthermore, Mr. Robot tells him to stop asking questions and to follow him if he wants his answers. On the other hand, Gideon is still dealing with the fallout from the Dark Army's hack of all safe. He is noticeably stressed and frantically getting ready for work. Simultaneously, his male partner named Harry prepares breakfast for him and forces him to eat. Meanwhile, Darlene seems to be concerned about Elliot's whereabouts. She contacts her ballet partner, Angela, and asks for her assistance in locating him. It is revealed that Angela and Darlene have known each other for years because they both attend the same ballet class. Following this, both of them go to the museum where Elliot used to hide out, but he isn't there this time. As they converse, Angela inquires as to why Darlene returned to Elliot, claiming that Elliot was fine when Darlene wasn't in town. Darlene simply states that she wishes to help her brother. At the hospital, Joanna has just given birth to a baby boy, and she reveals to Tyrell that this isn't her first child. She claims she gave birth to a daughter when she was 15, but she was adopted. Tyrell is taken aback because he had no idea, even after several years of marriage. He tries to reach out to take Joanna's hand, but she recoils. She tells him that if he wants to stay in this family, he must fix everything. Following this, Tyrell goes to Evil Corp, only to discover Philip in his cabin. According to Philip, the police believe Tyrell is a person of interest in Sharon's death, and because Scott believes Tyrell murdered his wife, there's no place for them both in the company. As a result, Philip decides to keep Scott while firing Tyrell. Tyrell learns that, despite being on the track, he is merely a commodity for Evil Corp, which causes him to feel depressed. Meanwhile, Mr. Robot takes Elliot to his childhood home prompting him to recall the scene in which his father pushed him out a window. Elliot tries to do the same to Mr. Robot, who informs that it was just an accident. However, Elliot doesn't listen to him and throws him at the window. After this, Elliot helps Mr. Robot walk towards a nearby cemetery, where they come to a halt in front of a tombstone. A few moments later, Darlene and Angela arrive at the cemetery looking for Elliot. Before they approach Elliot, Mr. Robot promises him not to abandon him again. Darlene inquires as to who he was speaking with, and upon looking beside him, he notices his father's grave, indicating that he was hallucinating his father for the entire time. Now, Elliot also has no recollection of starting F Society, or launching their Evil Corp takedown, and he is understandably unsure whether he can carry on with the plan. He has lost touch with reality. Upon reaching home, Darlene tries to persuade him, saying that he was the one who came up with the idea and that it's all real. Meanwhile, Colby visits Angela at her place and offers her a job at Evil Corp. A short while later, Darlene walks out to get Elliot's medications, and soon after, Tyrell walks in. He claims to be aware of F Society, which is led by Elliot. He also demands the whole plan of F Society, so Elliot takes him to the F Society headquarters and shows him the setup. However, he purposefully lies to Tyrell, informing him that he is the only one working on it. Tyrell inquires as to why he founded F Society, to which he responds, I wanted to save the world. Tyrell then chooses to collaborate with Elliot. In the next scene, we see Michael meeting Krista in a restaurant. He reveals about being hacked and threatened by Elliot. But now he wants Krista's help finding the evidence so that he can turn Elliot into the police. Michael also mentions that he had a microchip implanted in his dog. As a result, he has some evidence against Elliot, but it is insufficient. He tries to convince Krista to help her but she refuses to do so. On the other hand, Elliot wakes up in Tyrell's SUV after three days with no recollection of what happened during that time. He then goes to F Society headquarters only to discover that their F Society plan has been executed. 
Darlene wonders where he has been for days and why he executed the plan without informing her. However, it appears that the plan was carried out successfully as many people now want to join F Society and are protesting for it. Meanwhile, All Safe CFO advises Gideon to shut the company because its main client, Evil Corp, is drowning, which will have a significant impact on All Safe. The CFO also claims that if F Society's hack is successful, Gideon will be debt free. Elliot isn't bothered to help F Society in destroying evidence of the group's existence, but he needs to find Tyrell. Specifically, he feels Tyrell is another vision, and he needs to know if he's real. Elliot is deeply disturbed because he has no recollection of activating the hack and believes that he bears some culpability for what he has done. Following this, Elliot goes to Evil Corp in search of Tyrell, but his former secretary informs him that he no longer works there. Shortly after, F Society releases a video in which a masked man reveals that they have successfully erased all of Evil Corp's financial data and that the people are now free from their debt. According to the masked man, Evil Corp will be broken as soon as the stock market opens. Later, Elliot arrives at Tyrell's place and knocks on the door when Joanna approaches from behind. He inquires about Tyrell, to which she fakes that he is on his way home and invites Elliot to wait inside. When she asks several questions to Elliot, he senses her ulterior motives, so he disguises himself as Ollie. During their conversation, several people wearing F Society masks collide with Elliot. Joanna then expresses concern for Tyrell and asks Elliot whether Tyrell was acting strangely the last time he saw him. When Elliot answers in the negative, Joanna calls him out. Before departing, she says something to Elliot in Danish that Elliot doesn't understand. Elsewhere, Evil Corp EVP of technology named James Plouffe is giving a live interview about the massive loss that Evil Corp is facing. Initially, he tries to inspire the public to stay strong. But in reality, he himself is broke. After some time, he admits the truth, stating that it is impossible to fix this. He then takes out his gun and shoots himself, giving up his life. Angela, who is currently employed at Evil Corp, is taken aback by this. On the other hand, F Society members destroy all hard disks, computer parts, and evidence of their existence. Meanwhile, Elliot returns to Tyrell's SUV and begins searching it thoroughly. A few moments later, he finds a pair of sunglasses that also function as a USB drive. He then goes to an internet cafe and plugs the USB into a computer, only to discover a video footage of himself falling on the beach. He then considers locating Mr. Robot, and the only way to do so is to get himself arrested. Just as Elliot is about to dial 911, Mr. Robot appears. Soon after, Elliot slams Mr. Robot into the wall, but in the other's eyes, he is slamming himself. Mr. Robot warns him that he is inside Elliot, but Elliot is skeptical. As a proof, Mr. Robot insults a man using one of the terminals and is punched. Elliot, who has been watching from a distance, collapses on the ground with a black eye. After this, Elliot and Mr. Robot stumble into Times Square, which is teeming with F Society protesters. Elliot is still torn between his hallucinations and reality, and he is unsure what to believe. He is struggling with the realization that the audience, Mr. Robot, and his hallucinations aren't real. Mr. Robot then delivers a lengthy speech in which he informs him of what is real. However, all Elliot wants to do is find Tyrell and confirm he isn't insane. Elliot is dealing with the recognition that he has no idea what is real or fake, but he ultimately decides to believe in his hallucinations. As directed by Mr. Robot, Elliot returns home and watches the events of F Society's hack unfold on his computer screens. Shortly after, someone knocks on his door, and as he answers it, the season ends. Subscribe to see more videos like this, turn on the notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thanks for watching.